All right, in this step, we're gonna put on the, the button that's right here, the little push button and the potentiometer. But before we do that, if we look at our box, we dumped everything in, there's very little left. Like what's left is very small. So what I'm gonna recommend is you go get the bag that stuff came in, take these little screws and dump them back in the bag so you don't lose them. Just like that and stick it out of the way. Those are there if you wanna mount this into that case. They, this does fit into that case. It does require a few screw, few holes to be drilled, but that's about it. All right, we're gonna start with the button. This is gonna be the simplest one to get in. You see down here the button and you kind of see how it's angled. If you look at the button, you see the, the long button stick faces out and it kind of fits right into those holes, just like that. And then you kind of push it down in. It'll kind of hold itself in there, but it could fall out. So we just need to make sure that it stays in there tight. The potentiometer works exactly the same way, except it takes a little bit more force. It feels like you're gonna break it maybe, trying to push it in. Make sure that the three holes are lined up and then the two big holes at the top, you just push until you hear a snap, or you might feel a snap, like right now it's snapped in. And that's and it's in there. All right. So we're gonna bring back over our, our solder stuff. And I'll make sure I can get this all in the camera because you can't, in this particular one, I can't put the whole thing in anymore because I got the button there. All right, so with the button and the potentiometer both, there's two two pins like right here and right here and right here and right here that don't do anything. They're, they're grounded, but they're basically there for the stability of you pushing on it. So those take a lot more solder. So we're gonna do those first. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your soldering iron down and it's gonna take a lot more solder. And they don't have to be I don't know, sorry, a non-cold solder drink, but I would, it holds better if it's not, so. Um. All right, so that's the button. And we solder in the two holes, on, the two pins on the button, just like this. There you go, Bit. button's in. Same thing with the potentiometer, it takes a lot, and this is even bigger holes, so it takes even more solder. And again, these are not electrical. These are just for uh, making sure that the, they're connected to the board. So when you start pushing on the knob or whatever, or pulling on the knob, it's gonna hold it there. It's not relying on these pins to do the physical connection. All right, let me solder the pins. All right, there we go. And now we have our button and potentiometer hooked up and ready to go. Button, potentiometer. All right, so the next step is going to be working on the Arduino. So um, if you've been watching this video straight through, take a break because this next step is a, a little bit more complicated. Um, and it's I'll explain why when we get there. So take a break or catch up to where we are and then watch the next video.